Let's bring in Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois. He is an Air Force veteran and currently active member of the Air National Guard. Congressman, thank you for your time on this Memorial Day weekend. We really appreciate it. Um, we know that Memorial Day is really about honoring the fallen, but it's also a wonderful opportunity to think about current servicemen and women and how all of us as Americans are supporting and honoring them. From your perspective in Congress, how, what is the scorecard? How are we doing as a nation? I, you know, I actually think as a nation we're doing pretty good. Um, I, you know, t this weekend I'm thinking of Andy O'Keefe. He's my buddy. Died last year in a helicopter crash in Iraq. I actually had flown with him, uh, you know, before. And uh, and so it's about thinking about the fallen. You can thank a veteran. The other thing I tell people is this: be happy this weekend. You know, say happy Memorial Day. You know, the fallen don't want us to walk around and be sad. They want us to enjoy our freedom, to have a good time with our family, to honor them. And, uh, and so have a good time this week. And, and as a country, look, I think, you know, you're there on the mall. You look around at all the areas that we honor people that have fallen in every war. Uh, you look at Congress. I think we, we make a lot of mistakes in honoring them, but we're, you know, writing checks and doing what's necessary to take care of folks. Can we always do better? Yeah, but if you look at like any other country in the world and compare it to the United States mm -hmm. of America, we're a country that because of what we went through in Vietnam and what, yeah. th they're, by the way, that's the generation I appreciate the most because of what they went through that made it better for us. So in light of that, great news. Wonderful to hear somebody being optimistic and to hear an honest assessment like that. When you look at your colleagues um, on both sides of the aisle in Congress, do you feel there's a political divide when it comes to veterans' issues writ large, or do you think people are doing a pretty good job of rallying together, rallying around our nation's veterans? I think it's an area of strong bipartisan support. You know, sometimes people take shots in an administration using VA just because it's a political shot, but generally we do pretty well. Here's the problem, and here's going to be kind of the next fight we have to look at. The answer to all these veterans' issues is not always to write another check or create another program. What we have to look at now is how do we make sure people are getting the help and the support that they need, but also not turning them into victims. People that come back from war, you know, maybe they have PTSD. By the way, that can sometimes be healed and helped. They are not going to be requiring, in every case, to be relying on government the rest of their lives. And I think we're doing a disservice to a lot of veterans by basically telling them, here's your paycheck the rest yeah. of your life. You don't need to go work. And I think getting folks to say, here's the actual benefits you need and deserve, and you can also continue to be a great productive member of society and feel good about yourself is yeah. the next kind of leap we need to take, and that's okay. going to be difficult. Also looking forward. What are the top challenges you see? I mean, there's a long list to choose from. We can talk about, um, you know, health care. We can talk about mental health care. We can talk about suicide prevention, uh, job, you know, helping veterans transition into the civilian job market, a whole list of things. But give me like the top two or three that you see that require urgent attention. I think it's going to be things like mental health. It's going to be, you know, making people feel like they have a purpose. You come back from basically being the most intense you've been when you're in a conflict zone and then coming back to a country and, you know, going to the Walmart and shopping is a very different thing than being on a battlefield. And that's sometimes what's hard to deal with. And so I think that middle, you know, right now the VA is dealing with still a lot of Vietnam and Korean War veterans. So when the, when my generation, you know, turns 60, 70 years old and really floods the VA system, that's going to be a big issue too. So it's making sure we get the right health care to the right people. Um, and doing it in a way that says you're not a victim, you're a tough warrior. You're people that went and defended this country in a tough area. You can continue to be a tough warrior, but we'll give you the help you need in the process. A message of empowerment and optimism. Um, Congressman, thanks so much for your time today. We wish you and your family Anytime. a reflective Memorial Day weekend. Thank you.